welcome to another Thursday. It's Thursday with cooking and we're going to be cooking with Curly Sue and we'll be joining Curly Sue in a few minutes. But I'm just happy that you have joined us today for a cooking lesson. I think you're going to be excited about today. It is cooking roti <coughs> and this was requested by Jaden. So Jaden and Dora is going to be joining Curly Sue um, in a few minutes to do our cooking lessons. But a few things I want to remind you about before we get started. I want to remind you that you can go to our website and there are lots of updates on our website. If you want to see what the cooking is going to be for the entire month, it's there. Our new book of the month is out on our website. Uh, month, this month's book is Ravi's Roar. Of course, we have Friday Favorites, which is um, tomorrow at 7.30. the week from my garden and bird watching and looking at butterflies so you want to make sure you check out our website so check our website there are lots of information that is there for you to be um, doing for those children who are back to school I hope you are enjoying that of course this month June is a jolly month jolly June and the question I'm asking is what makes you happy it's a jolly month. Yes, it's a bit overcast today and seems like we might have some rain, which is a good thing because the plants need to have some water. So we are waiting to hear from Curly Sue, who will be live any minute now. And we're going to be uh, checking out what they are cooking um, today, which is roti. And I hope you have all the information that you are ready to use. So I think Curly Sue with kids live. is live. So we're going to go and join her. Sweet potato roti. So let me just put some links into. Hi, Bricks Kids is here already. Hi. Just a sec. Let me just put some. We seem to have just lost transmission there with Curly Sue. Of course, this is technology. So let's go um, back on to Instagram. Here. And if you're not following me already, follow me on um, Curly Sue's Kitchen. Just follow this thing. So now I'm going to bring Bricks Kids on. Okay, let me see. Hello, welcome, Insight Marketing. Hello, welcome. Where today we are making. Just a moment, let me bring on bricks. Roti, it's actually really easy to make. Hi, hello, Joe, Jaden, and hi, Jaden. Lovely to meet you. I'm glad it was you today because I know that you wanted the roti, and thank you for sending me the letter. That was lovely. So I know roti is your favorite, so that's what we're making today. Thank you. Yes. So we're just going to wait a few seconds for some people to join. There's some people joining us as we speak. But have you got all your ingredients ready? Let me see. So do you have your flour ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. And your sweet potatoes that are already cooked? Yes. Yes. Excellent. And do you have some baking powder as well? No. No. But We've got self-raising flour. Oh, so then you're fine then, self-raising flour. And then a little bit of water as well. Okay, so you've got water as well. This is going to be good. This will be quick and easy. So what do you like to eat roti with, Jaden? I, like, I, like, I don't like to eat roti with anything, but I like to eat it plain. You like to eat it with... Say it again for me, please. I eat it plain. Oh, you like to eat the roti plain. Okay, that's good. Okay, great. So, have you made rotis before? Or yeah. mom, have you made rotis before? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay. They're actually 
when I first started making roses, I was a bit nervous because I was thinking, oh, it looks really complicated. And when I made it, I thought, oh, is that it? it's actually <laughs> not too difficult at all to make. So, yes, yeah, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is turn my camera around so you can see what it is that I'm doing. So bear with me one second. Let me move the camera. So can you just turn it around? Yeah, there we go. So then you can see my work surface. So I've got my bowl here ready. So into the bowl, first of all, we're going to put the sweet potato. So if you got your sweet potato ready, so I've got, I didn't have a medium one. So I've got one small one and one very small one. So you just peel it, which is really easy to peel. And you can just, hi Marcella, and you just scoop out the inside. That's all you need to do. Just make sure you don't get any of the peel with it. Just scoop out the insides like that. So it just should be really nice and soft. And it's really healthy that you use when you use um, sweet potato because it means it's lower in carbohydrates. So lower in carbs. So it makes it not as fattening. So it's good, good for you. So it's good for people on a low carb diet and it means you can eat more roti as well so if you put your sweet potato in your bowl already yes yeah okay very good so put the sweet potato in there and you've got self-raising flour so you don't need to add any baking powder so then you will take a fork and you will crush the sweet potato okay So give it a good crush, almost like you're making mashed potato. You just do the same thing. Hello, everyone who's just joining us. We're making sweet potato roti today. So I'm just mashing the sweet potato that's already been cooked. Yeah, well done. So then you just give it a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to mix... You don't need to do this because you've got self-raising flour. So I've got plain flour and I'm going to add my baking powder and I'll give it a stir. Like that. And then we're going to add the flour into the mashed sweet potato. I'm going to stir it around. So then we're going to take our hands and we're going to make it into a dough. So you might need a little extra flour because sometimes it's difficult to tell how much flour you'll need sometimes because different sweet potatoes have different, some are more watery than others. So it just depends. So what we're trying to do is bring it together into a nice dough. So if it's a bit sticky, just sprinkle it with a little bit of flour so that you can make your dough. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. Okay. I'm using spelt flour, but you can use any kind of flour you like. Um, plain, self-raising, or... Are you enjoying use... this? Pardon? Yes, you are. Yes, that. I'm enjoying doing, making the dough. <laughs> I can see the big smile. <laughs> right, so now that we've made it into a dough, we're going to cut it into six, divide it into six pieces. Okay. Actually, let's make it into four pieces. It's okay, that's part of cooking. Okay. Right, we're going to cut it in four pieces. 
So while you've cut it into four pieces, what we're going to do next is we need to... Don't wash your hands quickly. Yes. Okay. And you need to have your... Um, have you got a tower? Like a frying pan with no sides? One of these? Or do you have... What do you have? A frying pan? Just an ordinary frying pan. <laughs> That's fine. That will do. That will do. We need to start heating it up a little bit. All right, so okay. So what you do, you take it, you're going to put a little bit of flour. I've got a pastry mat here, so that's why mine's red up here. And you're going to put some flour over the little piece of dough. It's not going to be sticky. It's fine now. It's yeah, get any. So I've already put my tawa, tawa on the fire and I've sprayed it with some oil. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just roll it out gently. It's sticking. It's sticking, but you need to put down a little bit more flour. Okay. So just flour it as much as you can because of the... Um, Sweet potato Hello, everyone joining us. We're making sweet potato roti. It does need quite a bit of flour because it will stick a bit otherwise. So once you've done that, roll it out as thin as you can without it tearing. Okay. It takes a few little goes and then you're going to take that and you're going to put it onto the tawa. Oh, okay. And then you're going to press it down. And then you can spray a little bit of spray oil on it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is leave it so that it starts bubbling. So it will take a little while, but um, it actually cooks quite quickly, actually. So while we're waiting for it to cook, if you um, have a plate that you're going to put it on and a tea towel to cover it, so when we're making the next one, it doesn't go soggy. How hot does the temperature need to be? Oh, just medium heat is fine. And you can flip it over. So it will bubble a bit, but not as much as 
when it's just normal roti because it has the sweet potato in it. How's it going? Going good. So it takes about three or four minutes on each side and then it's basically ready. So that's our first one done. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the plate and we're going to make the second one. Okay, has your first one done? Or you uh, just one side. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so I'm just gonna put the second one on. All right, this one looks a bit better. Let me just put a little spray of oil on it. All right, my, this one is bubbling already. This one is a bit better. It takes a few goes, but as you go along, you get more proficient at it. So as you can see right there, there's a little bubble forming already. Oh yes, mine's bubbling nicely. And the good thing about the spray oil, I've got this spray oil, is that each spray is just one calorie. So it's not too much unhealthy fat. It's just a little bit of fat. All right, this is bubbling quite a bit, which is good. As you can see, there's quite a few bubbles. So now it's time to turn this one over. How are we going, Mum? Oh, it's going good. So if you're just joining us, we're making sweet potato roti. We're joined with... We're joined with We're joined with Sorry for the interruption there we it seems to lose lose feed with curly so so we are going to try and catch them back um so we just try and get them back so it's curly so and bricks kids we are cooking free potato roti and i hope you have been able to um see a bit of that but we are going to go back to curly so and catch them up. Uh, there seems to be a, a bit of uh, interruption and just trying to get back curly so online so uh, the ingredients you can of course go to our website and get it www.brickskids.org or you can go to curly so's website um, curly so's kitchen or on the instagram page you will see all of that information um, there so um, trying to get back with curly sue 
um, and we're just waiting, just hoping that we can make that connection again. That's the beauty of technology. When you're having a good time and learning, technology seems to cut out. But let's see if we can catch back to. So if you want to uh, um, see the um, website on our website, we have the recipe that is there. It's not still not having any luck in getting curly so live. I think there seems to be a problem. Um, and as soon as we have them, so it's curly so every Thursday we do this and um, we have different children, different Bricks Kids children who join in with their parents and cook. So if you're interested and you have your child and you want to be, take part in one of these, do email us um, or send us a message. You can um, email us at info at brickskids.org or you can um, email us or text us or 7866-437262. So I think we are back live with Curly Sue. So let's see if we... The live feed, but thank you for joining us again. So I the roti. I'm gonna see if I can bring um, Jaden back in. I can do if Jaden is still there. Let me see if we can come back in. Hello, hi to everyone joining us. We've just finished making sweet potato roti. So, for those of you who missed it when we lost the live feed, this is what it looks like. So, I just got them covered in cloth and then. Mmm, it tastes really nice. Really good with some nice curry as well. Let me just cover that for the time being. So, I'm not sure if I can bring Jaden back on. Um, let me just see. Uh, let me see. Again, it seems to be an interruption there. So technology isn't working in our favor today. And Curly Sue just finished Can making. Yes, yes. Uh, they're back. Oh, yes. Well done. Let's see. It looks nice. The so I'm have to... uh, much better. Pardon? The second <laughs> one always is much better, yes. And as you go along, then you start to look like you're opening an Indian takeaway. Excellent. <laughs> okay. So, for those of you who are watching, we have our weekly competition again today, and it is now time for Guess the Veg. So, if you're watching us and you're ready, let's see your thumbs up in the, the thumbs up emoji in the comment section, ready for Guess the Veg. Let's see your thumbs up. We just wait for the thumbs up, so make sure everyone's ready for the competition. Okay, Tasha G's ready. Who else is there? Who else is ready for our Guest the Veg competition? Last week, our oh, Baked to Order by Diane is ready. Brits Kids is ready. Lloyd <laughs> June is ready. Okay, seems like everybody's ready. Now, last week, Janelle won. She won the big box of um, fruit snacks. So, this week... We have another competition. Now, this one, you have to be really quick because this one is going to be easy. So it's whoever's going to be able to type it in the comments the quickest because I'm going to make this week's one an easy one. So hopefully somebody somebody will win quickly. Just a second. So here is my bag. And if you're ready now, 
Let's see if anyone else besides Janelle can win. So it's whoever can type the word correctly into the comment section on your marks. You all got your thumbs up already. Guess the veg. So I'm going to show you a part of it, but I think it's going to be quite easy to guess. So Uh, <laughs> and Janelle's won. Oh, who's got it? Was who's who wrote That's Karen me. first? Wait, was it Jaden? <laughs> okay. Yes, you are correct. It is a carrot. So I think it's Jaden who's won the competition. Your prize will be posted to you, Mum. If you could um, inbox me your postal address, and actually I might have it, but. Inbox me your postal address or do it via the Bricks Kids manager, um, owner, Craig. So I will post out your prize to you this week. So well done. Round of applause. Let's see the clapping hands in the comment section for young Jaden who guessed the veg correctly. This week it was easy. Next week it won't be easy because I found some vegetables that I had to ask what they are. So round of applause. Ah, oh, thank you. People are clapping in the comment section. Well done. So let me see. Well done to Jaden. Excellent. So you did very well with making the roti today. How did you feel about making roti? So that's another thing that you've cooked. So you cooked along every week with us, so that's great. Yeah, I must say that Jaden's really looking forward to Thursday. He's, oh. he's he's never cooked most of the things that you've been cooking. And, oh, okay. he, and he shares it with his family members. So right. and he tastes it and he eats it. So it's a good thing that you're doing. Oh, we want to thank, thank you. kids as well for helping us to stay connected with you. Yes, of course. Yes, we've, we've been collaborating for a few weeks now. So, yes, that's really good. So, thank you so much. So, if you're not following Bricks Kids, please follow Bricks Kids the, in the pinned comment. It's Bricks Kids um, Instagram page. Please follow them. And if you're not already, please follow me. If you'd like to see a copy of my cookbook, cooking with kids if you click the link in the in the comment section it will take you to my website and you can see my cookbook that you can get directly from Stanford press via my cookbook via my website but thank you so much so thank you very much to Jaden and Jaden's mom thank you so much for joining us today for being our mini cook thank you to everybody who's been watching today and thank you Brits kids have just posted the information again so thank you so much eat good Eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you, everybody, for watching. See you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you very much for being with us today and cooking with Curly Sue. Just want to remind you if you want to catch up on any of the recipes, you can find them on our website and for next week we will be having um pineapple apple and mango um chop is it chutney so look at our website you will see the full recipe and join us for that of course on tomorrow at 7 30 we have bricks kids friday favorite children sharing their favorite with us and then on saturday at 11 30 a.m we have another special bricks kids live for you and i look forward to you joining us then but until then it's bye from bricks kids have a lovely day and god bless you <laughs>